This video is sponsored by Loot Crate. Use the link in the description to sign up and I'll see you at the end of the video for an unboxing. How to party, how to party, how to party, how to party, how to party. Oh, we got food. That's probably a good one. We got friends. Eh, that's stupid. What was the third one again? Oh yeah! Set, go. Shrek Super Party. This game is not great. I'm sure that much is not surprising, but it does have one redeeming quality. The bug mechanic, which was kind of off-putting at first, is actually decently fun. After each mini game, players can switch bugs with other players. Third place switches one, then second, two, then first, three in that order. Matching bugs are then squashed up and added to your overall bug drops, the main objective of the game. It's nothing too interesting, but it does add some strategy and planning, sort of. But everything else in the game sucks. The presentation, music, everything. Especially the mini games. 90% of them are as simple as running around and collecting things. Here are just a few highlights. <laughs> The game might not be very good, but on the positive side, it looks like it's about to be over. Let's see what happens. Uh, wait, nothing happens? What a ripoff! Uh oh, Shrek, off to the evil bog. Oh no, not the evil bog! No! Also, I just wanted to mention, I had three friends over at my house when I was recording this game, and I could not get a single one of them to play it with me. That's not relevant to anything in this video, I just thought it was funny. Cutting with scissors. Snip, 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 snip. Do some sew. Eat. Sewing, 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 sewing. Pick a hair. Which hair do you like best? Just reach inside your soul. Make a choice, make a choice. Strut your stuff on the runway. Strut, strut your stuff. Okay, strut, 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 strut your stuff. stuff. Looking good, looking good. How are your lips? Looking, how are your lips? Put some of that on your lips. Put some of that on your lips. Make sure you put on makeup. You know, you don't look good. You don't look good without it. I don't know if I can put that in the video. Nunchuck back and forth. Nunchuck back and forth. Oh man, it's over! <laughs> you who may be too young to know, Tamagotchi were these little virtual pets. You played with them, took care of them, cleaned their poop, fun stuff like that. Tamagotchi Party On is nothing like that at all. It is a party game where players compete to become the president. Now this concept sounds like it could be fun, but just trust me, it's not. <laughs> not 
only are the minigames forgettable at best, they're also all one-player minigames. So instead of something like Mario Party, where everyone rolls, then plays a competitive game together, you have to sit around and wait while the other players, or computers, roll and then play their game, one after the other, after the other, after the other, which is boring. It's sad because I like the idea of a Tamagotchi Party game and everything in Tamagotchi Party On looks cute and fun, but when it comes down to the actual meat of the gameplay, it's just barely even passable. If I went over to a friend's house and they made me play this game, I would probably kill them. <laughs> or at the very least, I wouldn't go over to their house again? <laughs> It's, it's probably a more reasonable option than the first one. I couldn't quite express just how I feel about Tamagotchi Party On, so allow me, if I may, to quote a review I found online. <clears throat> Tamagotchi has been died for years. It was almost died when I was six. And right now, I am ten. <laughs> Sonic Shuffle! The story in this game is pretty complicated, but I'm gonna sum it up for you real quick. Everyone can fly, they all fly around, um, then they find a crystal and then a lady, the lady plays the harp, and then one of her strings breaks, and everyone seems to be very upset about that. Uh, and then some, some stuff happens, and uh, everyone gets a card. Everyone gets a card. That's, that's it. That's the story in a nutshell, as far as I can tell. Sonic and friends are transported to a place called Imaginary World. Yes, that's really what it's called. This girl needs our help to save it, and... I've got nothing better to do. I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room here. Sonic Shuffle is a shameless Mario Party ripoff. To be fair, though, they did change a few things. For example, instead of a random dice roll, you can either pick a numbered card from your hand or blindly select one of the other player's cards. This adds a lot of planning, strategy, really slow-paced gameplay. Things that make the game suck. That's what it is. That's what it adds. This game is so boring. You don't even play a mini game after the end of the four player cycle. In order to play a mini game, you have to land on a mini game space. The first time I played, I went over 20 minutes without playing a mini game. After a while, I just assumed there wasn't going to be any at all. And when I finally did get to play a mini game, I kind of wished that I hadn't. Let's just say for the sake of time that they are an uninspired and bland way to get you more rings. Rings that I should mention are mostly useless as far as I can tell. At the very least, you don't use them to get stars, or excuse me, the gems. To do that, you have to land directly on the gem space and do a battle. Now the word battle may imply fun, but don't get your hopes up because fun was clearly not what they were going for with Sonic Shuffle. You just pick a card and you pick a higher number card and roll the card and spin it and hope you get a higher, uh, higher number than the, than the guy's help. That's it. In conclusion, this game is not very good and I think we should toss it straight into the void. <laughs> At number six, we have truth or lies. Someone will get caught. I don't know if that's part of the name or not, but it's there. Let's find out who's telling the truth and who's telling a lie. Our exclusive lie detection software will uncover the truth. Who in the room do you think has had the most to drink tonight and why? It's just me and Todd in the room and I'm pretty sure neither of us have had anything to drink. Our exclusive lie detection software will uncover the truth. Who would be your first choice to sleep in a tent with in the woods? Why? Uh, my wife, because I love her. What? I don't think so, lie. No, 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 no. This game, this game is rigged. This game is rigged. Our exclusive lie detection software will uncover the truth. The truth. Watch basketball if there was a two-second shot clock or a three-foot-tall maximum height rule. This is a this is a stupid question. 
I don't like this question. Pick a better one. A lie. <laughs> no, I was being serious. It's a stupid question. That was the truth. This game's just salty. This is what it is. How many books have you read for leisure in the past year? Two. What? Two. I did it. Two. Two. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a long time, you may have seen some of the My Sims videos I did a few years back. Ever since the finale episode on My Sims Agents, I've had a lot of people ask me to play a few of the other random My Sims games, specifically My Sims Party. Well, here you go! I'm playing it. Are you... are you happy now? I'm not. Once you start it up, you can choose between the Dream Festival mode, don't bother, just trust me in this one, or the mini game mode. Fortunately, all the mini games are unlocked without having to play the story mode, so that's nice, I guess. Except the part where none of said unlocked games are any fun in the slightest. My Sims Party offers many creative games, such as swing the Wiimote like an axe, lift the Wiimote like a dumbbell a whole bunch of times, do a dance, run around and pick up paper, and my personal favorite, which one is the same banana? Uh, um, uh, shoot! I had it! I had it! I had it! Are you guys ready for this? It's time for Imagine Party Babies. Uh, that's babies with a, a Z. It's, it's cooler that way. What can really be said about Imagine Party Babies? I know that's a pretty generic way to start a top 10 segment, but seriously, what can I say about it? It's a stupid party game with babies. That's all it is. Here's a funny clip of me and Jeff playing it, I guess. There you go. <laughs> what are we doing, shaking the controller? <laughs> I found a good tactic, I think. <sighs> you want to this? You hear that? <sighs> we can do this! Oh, I will win. All my pride is in this game. Okay, now this is oh, we come on. in a dead heat. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on, baby! Come on, <laughs> I win, baby! No, I can't even press it fast enough because I'm too busy I'm laughing. Too busy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I think it just settled in what oh. we were actually doing right now. Oh. And I was just like, what the heck is happening? Oh. Yes! Uh. Yes! I think no! that was me! Yes! No! I am the winner! Oh, <laughs> oh my god! All that effort for nothing! <laughs> Nickelodeon Party Blast! It's bad, it's bad, it's so bad! Holy bejeez, it's bad! It's bad. Okay, let me slow down here a bit. Nickelodeon Party Blast is not a game. It is programmed diarrhea on a disc. There's a few different games you can play, but let's check out the first one, Food Fight. I won every single level in this game just by hiding from the other players. The first level, I locked myself in the closet. Victory! The second game, I jumped onto this table and didn't throw a single piece of food, and... Victory! The third level, I just stood up on top of this fridge and watched the chaos taking place below me. <laughs> And what do you know, victory. Then after all that, there is the easiest boss fight I have ever experienced. I think I'm actually gonna beat him without getting hit a single time. No. No! How could you do this? Rain down pizza from above! Feel my pizza rage! There's four other game types, but none of them are any better. Just take my word for it. Some of them are barely even different from Food Fight anyway. It should be a crime to sell this game to children. To anyone. I'm serious. I'm serious. Um, guys, someone should probably flip that over. I mean, I know this is funny games and everything, but Tommy is a baby. He's probably gonna drown. Anybody? Anybody? Cole? Cole? Family party, 30 great games. 30 great games, 30 great games, 30 great games, yeah, 30 great games, 30 great games, you know it can't be lame because they put the word great right there in the name. 
Do not be fooled. Despite the name, the only thing great in this game is the opening music. Full disclosure, I did not play all 30 games. So if you want an in-depth review, you'll have to look elsewhere. Although I, I don't know why you would why you would care. I only played about half the games and I only needed to play one of the games before knowing without a shadow of a doubt that this game would make it pretty high on the list. The first one I played was Flying Teacups, also known as this game. Let's take a look at how that went. I never wished I was dead before uh, until right right this now. Right now. First up, there's this one, which involves a bunch of waiting and random guesses. Then there's this game, where you try to catch ghosts or something. And I don't even know how to explain it properly, but they somehow screwed up the controls and it's barely playable. Why they didn't just use motion controls for this one, I will never know. How about this one, where you throw barrels at the guy on the horse and you can't change the direction of the throw and you can't do anything fun at all. Come on. This new play. I'll save this. I'll save. I'll. I'll, 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 I'll. At number one, perhaps I'm being too harsh here, but I don't know. I really don't think that I am. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. I love Animal Crossing. Anyone who's seen my videos knows that. And I wanted Amiibo Festival to be good probably more than anyone in the whole freaking world. But I was so disappointed in this game. If anything, I was so optimistic about the game, despite all the criticism it was receiving pre-release, that it's that disappointment that is causing me to put it at number one. You see, whether or not I had played played any of the previous games on the list before making this video or not, I didn't expect any of them to be good going in regardless. But Amiibo Festival? I mean, come on! It's Animal Crossing! And it's so cute and so charming, but it's also just so boring! It's boring! I think what frustrates me the most about it is that I feel like it could have been so much better. First of all, mini games. Mini games of any kind in the main game would have added a lot, but even though I knew it wasn't gonna have any going in, I was still really excited to play it. I thought that it would be more like an Animal Crossing meets Fortune Street rather than an Animal Crossing meets Mario Party. But unlike Fortune Street, which involves a lot of strategy and planning as well as luck, an amiibo festival, you just tap your amiibo onto your gamepad. That's it. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only barely being sarcastic. You roll the die, watch an admittedly adorable and cute little cutscene, and either something good or something bad happens to you. Yay, it's a video game. Except it's almost not a video game at all. It's more like a non-game. There are some mini games, but not only do they have to be unlocked by playing through a bunch of the incredibly dull main board game, they also require amiibo cards. And speaking of amiibo, the absolute worst thing about this game. It's cardinal sin is that it made me have to unbox all my freaking amiibos. What's up with that? <laughs> no! Hey there, Isabel. How are you doing? Not so great. I wish I was back in my cardboard prison. I felt so safe there. Well, look on the bright side. At least we get to play Amiibo Festival now. I take it back. I like this. I think this is the most fun I've ever had with my Amiibos, actually. Mamai! As I mentioned at the start of the video, this video is sponsored by Loot Crate. Loot Crate is a subscription service that sends you awesome, epic, geep, gaming, geep, I almost said geep, geep. I don't know what I actually was said. I, I don't know anything. Loot Crate sends you awesome, epic, gaming, nerdy gear in the mail once per month. And I'm gonna open up this box right here for you. Uh, this one is futuristic, I believe? Yes, futuristic. And the next box's theme is anti-hero. So if you want to sign up for Loot Crate, you should use my link in the description below, lootcrate.com slash peanutbuttergamer. It helps me out and you get some awesome stuff in the mail once per month. And if you want to save 10%, use the discount code peanutbuttergamer.
shirt. Oh, nice. I already see some stuff in here that I'm very interested in. Let's start with the shirt, though. Oh, what? It's a Rick and Morty shirt. I freaking love Rick and Morty. That's really cool. If you haven't seen Rick and Morty, you should check it out. Ask your parents, though. Ask your parents. Oh man, there's there's tons of good stuff in this one. Okay, 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 okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's uh, check out this Mega Man. Uh, this is a Mega Man blind box here. Where's my knife? I'm not allowed to use knives. My 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 wife said, don't tell her. Shh. Ah. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we got Red Mega Man here. Does even his arms move? Whee! So this is Star Trek The Next Generation, aka the best season of Star Trek. No questions. It's a little USS Enterprise uh, memorial sticker here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. We also have a comic here called 4001 AD. I'm actually not familiar with it, but it looks pretty cool. I love these little pins they send. Uh, this this uh, month is Star Trek uh, online themed, but it is the live long and prosper uh, pin there, as you can see. And last, but absolutely not least, we have this little Futurama figure in here. Let me open it up. This is the Planet Express ship from Futurama. Uh, and if, I gotta say, if this was the only thing that was, it would even magnetized. If this was the only thing that came in this month's Loot Crate box, I would not be dissatisfied. All right, so that is this month's theme, Futuristic. Again, next, next month's theme is uh, Anti-Hero. And if you wanna get that box, you gotta sign up by the, uh, uh, the 19th, so sign up with the link in the description below, lootcrate.com slash peanutbuttergamer. Again, it helps me out, helps the show out, and I uh, appreciate it. Bye-bye! If you want to see more stuff, you should check out PB and Jeff on my gameplay channel. You can watch the new episode, Party Babies, here, or if you want to see the video where this idea came from, you can watch the My Sims Party episodes here. Or if you want to see an actual good game, you can watch Mario Party. Hey guys, this video ran so long, so I'm just going to make this short. You know the drill. Subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoyed it, all that stuff. Follow me Facebook and all that stuff. Thanks, guys. I am gonna go now. Bye bye! <laughs> Can you catch up on all of my iPads? <laughs> I don't just go to sleep at. I was, I was dead. <laughs>